Hi dolls, I am back. And I know when I say I'm back, you guys probably didn't have a chance to miss me because I've been posting videos up until I think it was um, last week or a few days ago. I'm sure by the time I post this, it'll be last week. But um, I've actually not made soap uh, since the last week of November. And here it is, January 3rd. Yeah, so I've been kind of taking a break um, from soaping just because I soap the whole year and um, of course you need a break. So <clears throat> I did do that, but I don't, I'm not going to say I didn't do anything soap related. You know, um, I redid my soaping studio. I have a bigger table, so there's going to be much more room for me to fill up and um, just been kind of. Well, honestly, I've been sick for the past two weeks, which a lot of you already know that in my last video, um, which stinks because I have to return to work tomorrow, and I've actually been off for two weeks, and my very first day of my vacation, I got sick. I'm like, yeah, nice. So, <laughs> I'm actually feeling a lot better now, and I hope that you all had an amazing new year. Um, I most certainly uh, had a great New Year and a great Christmas. Despite me being sick, I did have a good time. Um, first, before I start pouring, I already have my lye and everything mixed in my oils. So, in this cup, I have a bright yellow. This is a custom order. Um, and these are the colors that Miss Kayla requested. Kayla is the same doll who um, requested me to make Cheryl Summer Garden. Cheryl was her aunt. So, I'm making another custom order for her. And she wanted in bright yellow deep red and black so here's my colors here and I'm gonna go ahead and pour those off but um yeah I just been kind of working on my soap studio and getting that orderly and you know just trying to get it organized because it's gonna be a wild ride through 2016 I can't wait to get started which day is my first day of starting back to soaping and hanging out with you all it's just been amazing and I was gonna do what you know um end of year video but I was feeling like poop I know you guys understand <laughs> but again I am feeling loads better and I just want to thank you guys for being so amazing absolutely amazing through all of 2015 I mean I cannot ask for better subscribers um we had our rough times when you had like some of the people who would come in and say nasty things but you know that that just goes with you know the territory that's a given so I don't care that doesn't matter to me when I have all of you being so amazing and so supportive and just always being there for me and being so encouraging and even when you know I'm like really really super busy and I can't always post videos or respond to you guys you ask are you okay and that's just absolutely amazing so guys I mean a big big great applause go to you all because You have just made this journey from 2015 into 2016 absolutely amazing and I can't thank you enough I really really can't and I am just looking forward to hanging out with you all again through all of 2016 and being even more amazing than 2015 was and making some cool soaps and also for those of you who don't know I do have a second channel and I want to thank you all uh, for the ones who have gone over to my second channel and subscribe and uh, watch our latest video I said in my last video you guys would get a chance to meet Gabe and he's actually um, in that video we did a challenge and it is absolutely hilarious it was so much fun so please do go over there and check it out I will put the link to that ch my second channel in the description box below and I'm gonna try to do some more fancier stuff with my videos um, I'm working on all that, but, <laughs> um, I just, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are fucking awesome, man. You rock. Okay. You absolutely rock. So I, I had to say that. I know like some people will fast forward that. And for those of you who are just joining me, please do subscribe if this is your first time here. I mean, we have the most amazing group of subscribers here. Everybody's so supportive and so knowledgeable and always willing to help one another. So if you're just now finding my channel, you have came to the right place. And I'm not saying because it's my channel. I'm saying this because I'm giving props to my subscribers who are absolutely amazeballs. I cannot ask for better subscribers. I really, really could not. And these cups are like super duper full. So we're going to start <laughs> The first video of 2016 with a big old great mess, I'm sure of it. <laughs> but oh well, that's how I roll, y'all. But yeah, I'm just oh I can't I can't say thank you enough. Woo! I just can't, y'all. 
you guys are just you have blown me away you have blown me away and just to watch my channel go from being little bitty to i mean i'm not massive i don't have millions of subscribers but i'm working on that um <laughs> it's just to go from little bitty you know just starting to having over 4600 subscribers just that fast in one year and just all of the comments and please continue to comment and you know I always try to comment whenever I can reply to your comments and if I can't you know um, it may be a couple of days in between before I get back to you but it had just been really busy with the craft fair and I'm not gonna start talking about that craft fair because I did put um, some some of that footage in my last video no that was my uh, raspberry um, Ras black raspberry vanilla I can never remember the name of that gosh darn soap but yeah um, ah, just thank you thank you thank you I love you guys loads and I'm just so excited to just go through 2016 with my old and new subscribers it's going to be so so much fun and again please be sure to go over to my second channel because there are some fun things going on over there and I plan to upload more and more um, I wasn't uploading on a regular over there just because I was so busy with you know my business but trust me there's going to be lots more fun stuff going on over there too um if you need a good laugh go over there because i am a clown for those of you who already know me you know i am a clown so anything that i can do that's fun and make people laugh that's what i'm all about so all right um now that i have said all of that because it was most definitely important i had to say it i'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and get all of this blended in and oh also i want to tell you um she picked the fragrance that's for my Indiasia, and these colors are very similar to my Indiasia, but it's not going to be Indiasia, not at all. And this is Kayla's um, idea, so I was kind of thinking, trying to think of a name, I'm like, mm, I don't know, but I decided to name it just simple, Kayla's Creation, because Kayla did create these colors and the color scheme, and I am just the vessel that's going to make it happen. So, Kayla, this is your soul, Kayla's Creation. And you will get your soap packaged with cigar bands and all that cool stuff with your name and everything on it. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I got everything blended in. I think, like, my black is going to be the bunghole. <laughs> it's a little bit thicker than the rest, but that's cool. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, I'm going to make it do its thing. That's what I'm going to do. And <clears throat> also, like, there... There are different terminology uh, terms for uh, YouTube if you're a content creator, which some of you probably already know because you are content creators, but there's a thing called super fans and super fans are the subscribers who like just, I mean, they're always, always there, always commenting, always supporting, just always there. Ooh, my red's getting kind of thick too, y'all. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> I wanted to go and uh, give a shout out to all of my super fans, but you know what? Um, it's just so many of you. <laughs> That's number one the reason why I didn't do it. It's so many of you. Um, but it's not, I don't even want to do that just because there's no one, you know, uh, subscriber that's better than the other. Everybody is just so amazing. Everybody has just been so amazing equally. And I need to move this camera back before I start out the new year with pouring the soap on my camera. And that is not what I'm trying to do, y'all. So, um yeah that's why i didn't do that it's just all of you have been like so amazing absolutely amazing because i've had some new subscribers that's been around for maybe a month or less and just jumped in and just you know commenting and chatting it up with me like they've been here all along and that is just so super duper awesome so that's the reason why i decided not to do <laughs> that's why <laughs> come on colors don't do that i'm gonna work faster and this have not even really been sitting there that long that's yeah but that's why i didn't do you know the the shout out for individual subscribers because to me all of you guys are my super fans most definitely and i love you all and i know i just talked about that but it well i'm gonna keep talking about it because you deserve to hear about how awesome you are because you are so um yeah this um uh, i don't know what's called in this because i you know i've started always soaping at room temperature now i don't even soap you know warm or hot or whatever you want to call it all of my soaps are made at room temperature and i had i just did a like crazy rematch um which i'll insert a picture but yeah i did a rebatch today just because a rebatch re i always say that not a rebatch a master batch cheese um 
I did a big old master batch because I wanted to be able to get soaping and not have to stop and, you know, weigh out my oils and fragrance oils. I can't talk. You know, you stay away from soaping for a little bit and you forget everything. But I want to wear all of my oils and all of my lye and all that stuff so I can just keep going until I have nothing left. And that's pretty much what I did. Okay, tablet, stop doing that. Woo! Yeah. But, um... Okay, yeah, I need to... This is gonna be kind of cool looking. Okay, well, I think you're on something here, girly. But yeah, um... Totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much, um, well, you know, I'm not as sick as I was, but my memory, whoo, my memory. Oh, Lord, why? Why are you thickening up on me? But it stirs out well. It does stir out well, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, um, because I totally forgot what I was saying, maybe I'll remember. But um, I'm going to have some cool stuff planned on this channel as well. Uh, not just, I mean, it's always going to be soap related, but I see that you guys took really, really well and enjoyed me doing, you know, how I do things to make soap. So I'm going to try to do more of that to help out the beginner uh, soapers and not even so much beginner soapers because even me, there's stuff that I still learn, you know, as I go with soap making because, of course, no one knows everything because soap making is constantly, constantly evolving. So you always learn something new. What is that? Okay, get out of there. But yeah, you're constantly learning something new. So I learn something new every day from, you know, other soapers. Um, it was one, somebody left a comment. I'm sorry, doll, that I didn't get your name. Uh, but she told me with um, mixing my colors for my melt and pour because I use glycerin, which I never really have a problem with. I, honestly, I've never... The only time I've had a problem with my glycerin or my uh, melt and pour soap sweating is when I used um, some melt and pour that was pre-made and it was given to me as a gift with a purchase from a certain company and it was the worst melt and pour I had ever had, you know, come across in my life. So that stuff sweat like crazy. Oh my goodness. It was terrible. So I still have it. I won't even use it. It's just there. But, um... Yeah, but she did come up with a brilliant idea. She got it from, I think, 805 Soaps. I believe that's the name of that channel. And um, she said to mix your colorants with alcohol because, you know, alcohol evaporates. So it'll be evaporate right out the soap and it'll keep your soap from sweating for those of you who have had trouble with your soap sweating. So that was brilliant. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that info. So like I said, I'm always learning. I don't know everything. Um... But what I do know, I will try to share with you all more and more just because it's amazing to know, start out soap making and then, um, like when I started, which wasn't very, you know, that long ago, um, there were certain questions I had and I just could not find them online. And thankfully we have this amazing soaping community right here on YouTube and everybody's just so darn helpful. And if you, you know, you didn't ask them, I never really asked anybody, uh, any soapers. And I mean, I probably should have. It would probably just be much easier for me to figure out what I needed to know. But um, a lot of soapers were just told the information right then and there. Or you can just type it in your search bar in YouTube and you'll find it. So um, I just want to be able to give you guys information that I know and things that I've learned that uh, help make your soap making better. Or, you know, easier. Whatever the case may be. Come on, Red. Oh no, I'm getting the ploppers. No, that's not what I want. But it just might work, you know? It just might. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is causing these colors to act crazy on me. Well, I will say I'm probably thinking because I actually mixed a few colors together to strengthen the color, should I say? Oh, and also, um, I'm pretty sure I would say probably 85% of you all know that I am a tester for Rustic Essentials. These are not Rustic Essentials. Uh, it, um, uh, products, but I would say probably a good 90% of my soaps that I make are Rustic Essentials products. And, um, I, the reason why I'm bringing that up because, um, uh, by me being their tester, you can see the performance of, you know, the fragrance oils because I'm mostly using their fragrance oils and their colorants. So you can see the performance right here on video, right before your eyes, and that way you know, okay, that 
fragrance oil didn't give her any issues that colorant is bold you know it stayed bright and true so that kind of takes out the guesswork especially like when you're trying to find a fragrance or a colorant. and I am turning this darn yellow black because I put this black spatula in it shame shame but um yeah you you can see it you know you can see it being used and it's just so much easier when you can actually see come on oh no well like I said I'm not gonna fret just yet because it just might work wonders because I have all the thinner streams on the bottom and then the bigger ones on the top so I'm cool with that man but uh yeah and the reason I brought that up because I was in Sobbing 101 and there was someone who was asking um about Rustic Essentials products have anybody used them their fragrance oils what did they think what were some of the favorites and I told her you know I'm a tester for a rustic essential you know I'm, I wasn't trying to plug myself in soap in 101 no but I did tell her you know if you want you can come over to my channel <clears throat> and then uh, check out the performance on the fragrances because I use a lot of their fragrances and um, hopefully well there's no hopefully about it I'm going to be doing so many of their fragrances because I mean Amy has just been so amazing to me most definitely so I have so much stuff uh, left so many fragrances left and there's ones that were like my absolute favorite I've gone and repurchased those because they her fragrances man I'm telling you they just they work they are just beauteous in soap making I've not had a problem yet honestly I have it and then the only one that I had that was a fast mover was Salt and Sierra and she told me about that well before I even got it so <laughs> um I knew what to expect with that but everything else has just been absolutely amazing and even that fragrance wasn't unmanageable at all and I've gone through like tons and tons of suppliers since I've been making soap and um a lot of them I'm not gonna say anybody's name of course not but there's been quite a few that I've had like some serious misses I'm like dude you know <laughs> because it smells great in the bottle I was just talking to my mom about that earlier it smells amaze balls in the bottle and when you pour it in your your soap batter it still smells amazing and then say cure out after six weeks and it smells like absolutely nothing and that is heartbreaking <laughs> when you do all that hard work and then it smells like nothing that's terrible you know um I've had some that were like very strong in the bottle and then I soaked it and then it was just very very light I like to be able to smell my soaps as I walk by them I don't want to have to press my nose and face right up against it in order to smell it and I can honestly say and I'm not just saying this because one thing about me I'm sure you guys have uh, the, for the ones that you've been here you you've grown with me as I've been on my channel and you know me quite well and you know that I'm not gonna BS you guys if I don't like something I'll say it <laughs> I do uh, tell you when I don't like something even my own soaps I'm like ah that's hideous I don't like it you know so that's one thing I'm gonna always be honest about it and I can wholeheartedly say that I've not been disappointed at all with any of their fragrances I mean it's just been a godsend that Amy you know contact me and me having this opportunity to <laughs> make a mess <laughs> uh, this opportunity to be a tester for such an amazing company most definitely so for those of you who are wondering about the performance of their fragrances and I tell you in my videos you know this is from rustic essential um, this fragrance is color and all of that I always tell you so be looking forward to more of that because there is tons more most definitely and I'm like so super duper excited to get started on that you know I am I am because there are lots of fragrances that I I only make soap when it kind of speaks to me like certain fragrances I can't just go grab a fragrance and say oh yeah this is gonna be this it just kind of got to speak to me you know so there's ones that I was like super excited about but I didn't get a chance to make them in 2015 because I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with them so um there's gonna be lots of that being done and just some really really cool stuff so be looking forward to that I'm just so excited I'm so glad to be back to soap making and be with you all because again you guys are just amazing absolutely absolutely and <laughs> uh, more about my second channel 
It's called Unconventional Kenny. I think I already said that for those of you who do not know. Please go subscribe. That would be amazing. It would help me out so much. And Gabe and I have been talking about doing vlogging. I know we're not going to do it like right up front. And I need to talk about my Daily Beetle as well. For those of you who don't know what that is. Whenever I'm driving my car because I do drive a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, that's going to be called the Daily Beagle. <laughs> Daily Beagle. <laughs> Daily Beetle. <laughs> um... Yeah, so though that's what that little series is going to be called. And we were just kind of playing around with the idea of vlogging. So, um, we'll see how that goes. But there's going to be like some really fun stuff over there. Because I love being silly. And I'm going to do some DIYs and just all kinds of cool stuff. So, it's going to be a very interesting channel with loads of different topics and ideas and creativity. And all kind of funness, guys. Funness, is that even a word? If not, it is now. So, um, this... Man, this soap, I'm kind of digging these colors, Kayla. I am. Because <laughs> I was just like, mm, I don't know how I'm going to pull this one off. I just really didn't know what I was going to do because I'm mostly, uh, I would say probably 98% of my soaps, I always add white just to give it a pop to break up some of the dark. But I'm liking these colors. I really am. It's so, so mysterious. Maybe 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 just maybe i may call it something like that i'll have to look at it we'll decide once um i cut it because you know that's a lot of times how i come up with the names for my soaps when cutting but um yeah i'm, I'm digging these colors missy digging it okay good on you all right so and even though this fragrance kind of sped up on me a little bit i don't know if it was the fragrance. i don't know what caused it because i've made indie asia like 50 million times not really but i've made it enough where i've never had problems with acceleration or it thickening up on me so you don't know oh well it worked so but yeah so super happy to be back with you all most definitely oh and we did most definitely talk about you're gonna hear me talk about gabe a lot now because gabe is my boo-boo <laughs> um we we're talking about doing um a live video so pretty much that means while i'm making soap uh there's going to be a session open where you guys can ask me whatever you want and i will answer right there live uh on youtube how cool is that guys huh <laughs> So I'm excited about that because I mean a lot of you have asked me about doing meetups and I would love to do meetups but um majority of you aren't from Michigan so um and I'm not in the position where I can just travel especially not with a new job I mean my job is not brand new but it's less than a year old so I can't just be like see you guys so <laughs> um that will eventually happen because it would be so amazeballs to sit and hang out with you guys. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? It would be so amazing. All right. Let me tap this down and then we'll talk about how amazing it still it is. And it will be when we get to that point in life. But who knows? Just maybe. Just maybe in 2016 we might do something like that. Who knows what the future holds? Okay. Hold on guys. Let me bang this down. Alright, now that I have this banged down, and I bang the crap out of it because I do beat my soaps. Um, <laughs> um, I just wanted to make sure there were no air bubbles in here because I want this to be a maze boss for Miss Kayla. So, and I'm just so glad that I've, you know, reorganized my room. Now everything, and I mean absolutely everything, is within arm's reach and I don't have to go tripping. You're hearing bottles falling and worrying about, my, about me killing myself over here. Um... Everything is just so nice because Gabe bought me um, some shelving, more shelving. And I'm just like, ooh, man, thanks, dude. You're awesome. That's kind of what I said. <laughs> it just has come in handy with organizing a little bit better. And now I can use my shelves strictly for storing or curing soap, should I say. All right. So I don't know. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the top. 
I'm going to make some peaks, but I kind of just wanted to mix these colors in. That looks like a leaf. How cool. Because I don't want a flat top. Because she wants purple and white glitter on here. I love her creativity. I love her imagination. The way she thinks. Because she thinks totally outside of the box. Because I would have never ever uh, come up with a color combination like this. And I do love it. I'm not lying. I love this a lot. So um, I'm kind of excited to see what that glitter is going to look like on here too. This smells so good. I've always loved the smell of my... Oh gosh, darn it, Ken, Kenny, seriously. And again, I did not say God. I said gosh. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. I am. <laughs> so I might have to consult you on some soap designs, girly. <laughs> Come on, get up there. There we go. Yeah, because I'm just like, I don't know, I don't, I just don't know how I'm going to do this. But I love a challenge, don't get me wrong, I do. do love the challenges. And this most definitely was one that had me kind of stumped. Because I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, but thank you. Because I even started to uh, contact her and say, you want to add some white? That's, you know what, no, that's what she asked for. And that's what I'm going to give her, damn it. That's what I'm going to give her. So I did. right I think I like this that's actually really stinking cool man so yeah we're gonna leave it just like that oh it is so amazing to have more space <laughs> because seriously guys I was so being in the teeniest little tightest spot and that was just like really cramping my style figuratively and literally um but now this is lovely to have because I actually took my table that I used in my craft fair and put that in here and move my other one over for like my um, packing station so all right I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice old splash of alcohol and now should I do yeah I'm gonna do the white glitter first and then I'll do purple Ooh, that is full y'all <laughs> and also I'm gonna show you too I mean it's it's a no-brainer really but I repackaged a lot of my colorants and my um, glitters what is on my spoon something I'm not gonna use okay I'll use this one hopefully I don't put too much that's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty I do like it I do I do I do I do and she said she loves glitter, so she's my kind of girl. <laughs> you guys know I love the stiff. Love it, love it. Oh, I wish it would rain glitter. Well, then that would just be one big ass mess. Excuse me. I didn't mean to say the A. Oops. But, um, it would be a mess. But we will all look very fabulous, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see. Now, I think that's enough of the white. And then we're going to do some purple. That is beautiful. That is really pretty. Kayla, girl. You're rocking my socks, okay? Because this is looking pretty darn nice. I love it. I do like it a lot. And gosh darn it, my tablet is like really starting to peeve me off. Anyway. Now, let's get some purple glitter on here. Let's see. I think, I think that's just too much. <laughs> but, girl, look at this. These colors. I was like, I don't know how that purple is going to look. That I just because you know me I have a certain style but I was just so excited to do this soap I'm like wow these are gonna gonna be some kind of colors I just don't know how I'm gonna put them together I mean I told her that I thought it would look brilliant I just it was me it wasn't her I didn't know how I was gonna put it together and now I love it I do I do I do so I'm gonna put a little bit in the spoon and then shake it over on the sides Ooh, I'm starving I gotta eat something Ooh, yeah, my belly's yelling at me. All right, so. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I really do like that. Okay, guys, so that is it. Look at that. I did that in like 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, so this is Kayla's creation. I do, I think I'm going to leave it that because I want her name to be in it. But this is a funky looking soap and I mean funky in a good way all right I'm gonna hold that up to the camera look at that guys those are some cool colors nice marriage I really do like it 
that's right y'all think outside the box like Kayla because when you do you come up with some cool looking soaps and I can't wait to cut this puppy so that is it guys if you do like Kayla's creation um please do give a thumbs up it is greatly 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 appreciated I'm telling you I love those thumbs up okay they mean a war they mean so much to me and um for those of you who are new, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that because guess what? It's free and I want you to come back and I want you to get notifications of every time I post something and that way you can see it. You'll be the first to know amongst everyone else, but <laughs> at least you'll know when I post new videos because I have some people go, oh, you know, I when, when you post videos, I'm like, hey, have you subscribed? It'll tell you when I do. So that's it, guys. Again, I hope you had a beautiful new year. And I am so excited to be spending all of 2016 with you all. And we're going to make some cool, cool, cool soaps. I'm so super duper excited about that. We're going to have so much fun here and on my second channel too. So be sure to go over there. Because again, I'm not just saying that because it's my channel. But there is some really fun stuff, funny stuff over there too. And then you get to hang out with my babes. Because he'll be there sometimes too. So that's it, guys. Until next time, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry. Hugs and kisses and love. And be awesome at everything that you do. So until next time, bye y'all.